Heads up, Sam. Distro Center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must... Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Suggest it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order of time. Beginning scan. Weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Weapons restrictions lifted. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful. These guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight.
Remember, Sam, before you approach the fuel drop site, we recommend you use the watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise.
What you looking what for, you looking dumbass? For, dumbass? dumbass. Shoes holding up. Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. See you around. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Chiron printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the Chiron network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same can be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work.
Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will work. crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated carillion levels, which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it.
We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Access it to submit additional materials.
ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Delivering cargo. Thank you. With this unit, we should be able to power the distro center via the chiral network. Other places, too, if it works. Here's hoping the UCA can put our electricity to good use. Mind if I have a look? Incredible. How'd you get this here? You fly? All we need now is a connection to the chiral network. Go for it. Network bandwidth is a limited resource, and every structure you build consumes it. However, as you increase your connection level... About time we did our part. Thanks again. You know, I heard the rest of your team was wiped out. Makes what you're doing all the more incredible. You're a one-man expedition. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she made it to Edgenaut City yet. It was her that put us in charge of the wind farm. I was with the group bringing up the rear while Amelie led the way. I've never met her in person. But it was an honor to travel with her all the same. When you see her, feel free to tell her I said so, huh? Sam, got a moment? I ran an experiment with your blood. It seems you were onto something. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, we observed reduced activity. While this is hardly definitive as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon, and when it is, we'd like you to test it. Sam, this is the perfect opportunity. We've almost got the whole region on the Chiral Network. All that's left is Port Knot City. Return to Capital Knot City so you can pick up relief supplies for Port Knot. By the time you arrive, we can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Have a look at that delivery terminal. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information.
By handing over excess materials to a facility, you can... Now these... Just rem... Don't get carried away. Delivering cargo. That wind farm you've brought into the network is essential for our continued expansion. By way of reward, I've added generators recharge the battery. That includes machines. Congrats, Sam. You're cleared to take on open... While they're not as high priority, if you're already heading a certain way, just because they're not mission critical doesn't... So why not do...
Name's Sam. Just remember, one foot in front of the other. All there is to it. No nakate
beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Sam, you could probably get... that bike running again if you charged it with a generator. Why not give it a try? Weapons restrictions lifted. 